Hey everybody, it's Monica from the Coffee with Monica show and I am here at the Jeremy Brooks Emotion Picture uh, premiere and I'm really excited. I'm actually here with one of the premier or the principal characters and this is Miss Anaya. Anaya, congratulations. Thank you so much. So tell us, now what role do you play in this production? I play Ashley. So tell us a little bit about Ashley. Ashley is the lead character's girlfriend. She is focused, driven, she's a grad student. Um, she wants the best in life. She's looking for love. She's very vulnerable. So she's a good girl. Kind of your girl next door, kind of. Ah, okay. Well, you seem like the girl next door. <laughs> well, tell me, what can we get out of this movie? What would be the most inspiring part you think, without telling us the plot, what do you think we'll get from the movie? This is a movie about love. It's a movie about loyalty. It's a movie about friendship, knowing what you want versus what you need. I think there are a lot of, of things that will come from the movie, and it's definitely very relatable. I think, I think everybody in the theater today will take something from it. Tonight is actually a role that is completely different uh, for me. I am playing the other woman, Vanessa. Now, this is a story that is, that is special because nobody's a bad guy. You know, everybody is just human. You know, people make mistakes, people do things that they know they shouldn't do, but they get caught up in a moment, they get caught up in a feeling, and they sort of rationalize their way into doing some things that they know better than to do. So this is a story about how that can happen to anyone, and how, you know, good people can make mistakes, but good people can turn it around too. You know, it doesn't take anything extraordinary to change the way you're going about your life. It just takes a decision and a willingness to acknowledge you made mistakes and you're gonna do better. Well, me and Tia had a lot in common, so it wasn't hard to play. Oh, did you? Oh, okay. Well, let me ask you this. What was your inspiration in taking the role? Well, when I first heard about the character, like I said, we have a lot of same kind of qualities and everything, so it was kind of me playing myself, really, but just showing it on the screen, so. Well, I'm going to tell you, you did it. You did it. I actually felt that whole little thing, and I don't want to give it away, but I, I mean, I like, I know a friend like that. I could be a friend like that. That's the thing about Tia. She's like one of those friends that everybody has, that down-to-earth person, but keep it real at the same time. Yeah. That's the kind of person Tia is, so. I tell you what, I don't know if I want to cry or if I want to laugh right now, but I'm full of emotions, warm feelings. I'm actually here with the writer and director of Jeremy Brooks, a motion picture, and it was wonderful. Kyle, this was amazing. Thank you for your contribution. We love it, we love it, we love it. Now, I gotta know, what inspired you to do Jeremy Brooks? Jeremy Brooks, well, it started out as a stage play. And basically, what I wanted to look at was the complexity of characters. A lot of times we see in film, and especially in theater, and urban theater, we see one-dimensional characters where basically, this is the bad guy, this is the good guy, and then everything else in between. And my view is that people aren't like that. People are very dy dynamic. People are multifaceted. You have good people to do bad things. You have bad people to do good things. And so that was my effort with Jeremy Brooks to ex explore that, where it's all kind of messy. You don't know whether you like Jeremy or not. You, you want to like Sly, but do you really take? Well, I, I'm not going to give you all this. Right, don't give us a, it, don't give us a, yeah. Yeah, so I wanted to explore all of the, those complications. Well, you've done it, and it's so real. It's something that we can all relate to. We can find ourselves somewhere in this production. Let me ask you this, what are your plans for the production now? Okay, well, we've been accepted to the Memphis Film Festival and also to the Chicago Film Festival. So that'll be in August and September of this year. And then our plan is to continue to submit it in other festivals, and then we'll bring it to Netflix and DVD mass production this time next year. Well, it's going to be amazing. It's going to be a success. I really do believe in your project, and I'm going to do whatever we can on our end to promote what you're doing. You're an amazing talent, and I just speak blessings over you. I received that, and I want to bless you as well because I appreciate you to having the initiative and starting your own talk show, and that's awesome. And it's definitely needed in our area. There's not a lot of local programming. A lot of the program we're seeing is syndicated or brought in from somewhere else. And the fact that you're bringing uh, local programming here to Central Arkansas, hey, my props to you, and I appreciate you. We all have to do our part, right? We just work it together. We just work. Together. Well, I want to congratulate you again, and thank you so much for your contribution, and we appreciate you. All right.